In this video I'm going to show you how to add a camera or remote channel from another DVR or NVR. Currently I'm logged into one of our NVRs. First thing is to go to main menu and log in. You can use admin admin or the 88 user. The password is the same as the username. Once you're logged in, go to camera. And on, if, as long as your this NVR that you're looking at is connected to the same network as the DVR or NVR from where you want to pull channels, it'll populate here. We suggest against just simply clicking on the checkbox and adding cameras because it will cause some confusion for the NVR. The best way is to note down what your IP address is for the remote NVR. In this case, I want to connect to this NVR at an IP address of 192.168.1.101. And in your case, it'll say the port number being 3 quadruple 7. On mine, for security reasons, I've changed my port number to 3 quadruple 7. So click on manual add. Put in the IP address here for your device, meaning your remote DVR or NVR. You won't be able to select the channel numbers in certain DVR, so in this case I'm going to leave it as channel 1. So on the top left square, I'll have this camera connect. Make sure manufacturer is private, and then put your TCP port number. For most of you watching this video, leave it as it is because You'll know if you've changed it or not. And then username password for your DVR. In my case, it's still the default admin admin. And the remote channel number. I'm going to leave it as one because I want to pull the first camera off that NVR and click add. Once you've done that, you'll see your video pull up and also you'll see the status light turn green here. Now I'm going to add a second channel from the same NVR. So now I'm going to add in the IP address again. The, that other NVR or DVR will continue to have the same IP address. You don't change it. And so will the port number stay the same. In your case, it'll be 3 quadruple 7. Leave it alone. In my case, I have a different port number I configured on purpose. It's 9001. Username and password is admin admin. And the remote channel number, I'm going to change it to 2 because I want the second camera off that NVR or DVR. Now, the light ha is going to turn green in a little bit. Let the camera and uh, let the NVRs think with each other. And in a few minutes, or in less than a minute, it'll show up on your next quadrant. And in this case, light turned green. And I see the second channel right here. Thanks for watching this video.